What's up guys, it's John, and today we're talking about the Aegis Armory Shield holster for my Springfield XDS. Now, this may just appear to be a normal leather Kydex combo, but there's a couple things about it that I really like and that are a little bit different than the way other people approach this style of holster. So let's get into it. I've been carrying this for quite a while now, and I gotta say that this is one of the most comfortable holsters I've ever used. Which is funny because the slogan that Aegis Armory uses is comfortable from day one, and that's exactly what I experienced. That's true. And that's rare because a lot of times you gotta break in these holsters. They use super thick, super hard leather, and it takes a while for it to conform to your body. As you can see, I've been using this and it's kind of contoured to not only my body but the back of the gun and it's it's worn in very very well and I like it man all right so let's break this down let's talk about what I really like about this holster on the ends it has adjustable belt loops so you can move these up or down depending on how deep you want to carry it it actually came with them mounted here so it sat a little higher than I like the tactical muffin top likes to push out on a gun so I carry it rather deep in my uh, waistband so I adjusted these up and it fit perfectly another thing I really like is this deep cut here so that you can get your entire hand on the grip and with a gun such as the XDS where the grip is a little bit smaller this is really advantageous I actually did a backup gun competition with this XDS using this holster and I'll be honest with you, it was really, really nice. It was super easy to reholster the gun. Just point the muzzle right there and slide it down in. And uh, another thing that helps with that is this flared trigger area. What that does is when you're coming down into the holster, if you're not perfectly aligned, you can kind of rotate it in there and get it down. Another thing I find interesting about this holster is that it's cut so that you can use it as an outside the waistband holster as well as an inside the waistband holster. And that's pretty cool. You have options and I think that's important in today's market. And the reason I didn't use it as an outside the waistband holster is simply because inside the waistband combined with the XDS, this is a very, very slim package. And I didn't feel the need to put it outside my waistband in order to get the amount of room that I needed for the gun on my person. Let's talk about retention. Does it hold the gun well? We'll take the XDS here and slide it down in and you can hear that it locks in there. Now you will notice that it's a little bit wobbly, a tiny, tiny bit when it's off my person and that is because the leather has worked to the contour of the gun as well as to my body so when you put this on it actually gets a little bit more tension on the gun and it will not come out easily now obviously it'll pop out when you draw it like i said that's simple however off the person a little bit wobbly because it's going to conform to you a lot of people get a little weary about that like look in that review it's bouncing around that doesn't matter guys because when you actually wear it when you're actually using it for what it's supposed to be used for it's locked in tight so is it easy to use can you unholster and reholster the gun easily yep you can just pull that right out of there. You can get your whole hand on that grip. As you can see, easy to grab and easy to pull out of the holster. Now reholstering has always been interesting for inside the waistband holsters. With this particular one on my person, I found that my jeans tended to ride above the Kydex line here and I had to kind of work the gun back in. Using the leather, it wasn't a big deal. However, that's again something for you to consider. If you carry it on the bottom hole here, which means the holster is going to ride a little bit higher in your waistband, your jeans are going to be right about here on the Kydex line and it won't be an issue. Again, this kind of falls back to your personal setup. How do you like to carry it? Where are you going to carry it on your person? And things of that nature. So it's easy to use and it's comfortable. What else do you need from a holster? Okay, let's talk value here. So you've got a lot of options here. You've got the ability to wear it inside as well as outside the waistband. A nice looking Kydex leather combination holster. Usually you would assume that that's gonna be on the higher end of $100 or so, right around there. This holster goes for just under $60 right in that area. And that depends on, of course, what gun you get it for and what color options you decide to go with. On Aegis Armory's website, there are actually 17 different colors of Kydex that you can get on one of these holsters, and that's pretty cool. It's got a nice styling with these kind of scallops in the side of it, and I think it looks nice. Does that matter when it's inside your pants? 
Not really. However, it is nice to have good gear that looks nice when you take it off and show it off to your friends. Because we all know that you're going to take it home and you're going to go, check out this new holster I got. It's super comfortable. A lot of times when you order a leather Kydex holster, you could wait four to six weeks. Turnaround time from Aegis right now is 10 to 12 days to ship. That's crazy. I mean, you do not see that kind of turnaround time in this kind of holster very, very often. So that's pretty cool. So let's recap here. Let's talk about the things I like about the Aegis Armory Shield Holster. It's got a lot of options. You can carry it inside the waistband, outside the waistband. You also have the option of choosing a bunch of different Kydex colors, as well as a whole bunch of different guns. And on top of all that, it's super, super comfortable to carry and affordable. It ticks all the boxes of what you would want out of a holster. It's good to go. So if you're interested in checking these out, head over to Aegis Armory's website. I will put a link down in the description so you guys can check them out. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it that old thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And of course, as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. Remember, guys, you can support the channel more by going to patreon.com slash I'm with chaos.